Even prior to the attempt to create a lock and dam system to make the Brazos River navigable between the Gulf of Mexico up to Waco, authorities tell of some 90 steamboats, tugs, lighters, and barges that tried to operate on the short stretches of the Brazos River as a method of transporting people and goods from the Gulf. One such boat was the Katie Ross that for a few months made several trips up to Hill County to bring cotton, flour, hides, and cedar charcoal to Waco. On a June morning in 1875, the Katie Ross fired her boilers and moved out into the flooding Brazos River near the Washington Street area of Waco, hoping to make it all the way to the Gulf while the flood waters were high. By the time she reached the Hidalgo Falls, the river had fallen and she was only able to ram through only a third of her length before she got stuck. Ten days later, a small rise permitted her to scrape past the falls, only to face another stretch of shoals at Smiley's Ferry. There, the doomed vessel ran aground again and was permanently stranded, where she eventually broke up and was dismantled, thus ending the short but eventful life of the first Waco steamboat.